After Hurricane Harvey interrupted the operations of an important pipeline in southeast Texas, the Trenchless Company was contracted to install a replacement. The project featured a variety of significant technical, environmental, and logistical demands, making the Trenchless Company's experienced crews and direct pipe methodology the ideal choice. So this existing line that we're actually replacement was installed in the 1980s uh, with a conventional installation method. During Harvey, it was exposed, the pipeline remains exposed to date. Um, it's out of service as we replace the 30 inch line to a longer, deeper depth that's gonna give us a ultimate depth of 60 feet below ground surface, about 25 to 30 feet below the bottom of the diversion channel. The primary goal of this project is to give a product that is safe uh, for many years to come by flowing the crude oil at their allowable pressures and replacing what is exposed currently in the diversion channel. The trenches company, we just specialize uh, primarily in direct pipe, pipeline trenchless installations. We have completed, this will be our 20th direct pipe crossing to complete, uh, along with some other uses what the equipment doing HDD assist and pipe extractions. Uh, we generally stay within North America, but are open to travel across the world. So the trenches method is a way of installing a pipeline uh, without the conventional land lay, ditching, uh, using excavators, whatnot, crossing water bodies. It plays an important role in environmentally sensitive areas wetlands, hurricane levees such as this one. So with the workspace that we're standing on, you can see behind me, uh, we have approximately 600 feet of workspace. This crossing is just over 1,600 feet in length, which is requiring pipe strings to be welded in multiple sections, specifically for the 36 inch casing pipe, will be in five sections, which will take four tie-in welds and that will all be completed with the tunneling and the tie-in welds in roughly 10 calendar days. The key steps to installing a successful direct pipe crossing start with the foundation. Through engineering and best practices, setting up the thruster to handle the expected anticipated thrust force and extraction force is paramount to the crossing. So behind me, you can see the client's 30 inch product pipe. This was pre-welded in four strings, roughly 440 feet per section. Following the completion of the 36 inch casing pipe, we extract all of our internals, all of our umbilicals out of the 36 inch. And now you'll see we're installing the 30 inch client pipe within the 36 inch casing pipe. So with the four strings, we move one section in line with the with center line, push it through the thruster into the 36 inch pipe for a length of about 440 feet. Following completion of the pipe string one installation, we move pipe string two over in place Get it, get it lined up in the clamps, broke over, welded, x-rayed, coated, tested, and inserted back into the pipe again, and so on and so forth, till all four strings, ultimately 1,700 feet of 30-inch pipe, are installed within the 36-inch case. So the client trusted us for this project due to our extensive background, specifically in this area along the Gulf Coast our resumes, our crew that have been together for 20 plus years, and our ability to work all across North America. So the Trenches Company success stems on our core values, our guys. Most of us have been together for 20 plus years. This is our 20th direct pipe crossing. Worldwide, there's been less than 200. So we've done more than 20% of all crossings worldwide and 20 in North America. The Trenches Company's unique value to the project, the project's owner, and to the project as a whole includes our history, our knowledge, uh, our detailed execution plans, which paints the picture for the clients, and our relationship with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. <music>